بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته زوا عائشة I'm doing this session after a long time let's begin إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجال كثير ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد إن أحسن الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار ما بعد So we read on page 37 last time I am reading from the methodology of the prophets in calling to Allah. That is the way of wisdom and intelligence. Manhajul Anbiya fi da'wati ilallah fi al-hikmah wal aqad. So we studied last time this chapter, the importance of Tawheed al-Uluhiyya, singling out Allah with all worship. So I read. Uh, page 37 and we discussed about the importance the two important reasons of uh, why you know the importance of Tawheed al-Uluhiyya so uh, this is just a recap firstly that it is the most important part of the call of the messengers presented to us in the Quran and because it was a reason for the continual struggle between them and their enemies okay and then secondly, the most severe and dangerous deviation afflicting the Muslims in the East and the West is with regard to this, that is the creed, the aqidah, and specifically Tawheed al-Uluhiyya. And so we read this ayah, وَمَا بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ الرَّسُولَ أَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَجْتَنِبُ الطَّاغُوتِ and so we continue on this page. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رَسُولِ إِلَّا نُوحِي إِلَيْهِ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنَا فَعْبُدُونَ We did not send any messenger before you, O Muhammad وسلم, except that we revealed to him that none has a right to be worshipped except Allah. So make all of your worship purely for him. طيب, and then a number of stories of the Prophets. Mentioned in the Quran, In Hazihi Ummatukum Ummatum Wahida Tawana Rabbukum Fa'abudun. The religion of yours is a single religion. I'm your Lord, so worship me alone. Ya Yuha Rusulu Kulu Minat Tayyibati Wa'amalu Saliha, Inni Bima Ta'amaluna Alim. وَإِنَّ هَذِهِ أُمَّتَكُمْ أُمَّةً وَاحِدَةً وَأَنَا رَبُّكُمْ فَتَّقُونَ There is an end of the ayah with فَعْبُدُونَ 
طيب او messengers eat from the food which Allah has made lawful and do correct and righteous deeds indeed I am fully aware of whatever you do indeed this religion of yours is a single religion and I am your Lord so keep yourself safe from my punishment by obeying me this is Surah Al Mu'minun verse 51 to 52 طيب and Al Hafiz ibn Kathir, Sa'id Mujahid, Sa'id ibn Jubayr, Qatara, and Abdul Rahman ibn Zayd ibn Aslam said about the saying of Allah the Most High in Hadhi Ummatakum Ummatum Wahida that it means your religion is one. Then the meaning of these two ayat occurs in the Sunnah in His Sallallahu saying, I am the closest of the people to Isa ibn Maryam in this world and the hereafter. The prophets are brothers. Their mothers are different, but the religion is one. This is reported by Al Bukhari and Muslim. Tayyib. Also, Allah says, the Most High, Allah Azza wa Jal says about the messengers who were firmest in determination. Hulu al Azam, alayhi salatu wa salam. شرع لكم من ال من الدين ما وصى به نوحا والذي أوحينا إليك وما وصينا به إبراهيم وموسى وعيسى أن أقيم الدين ولا تتفرق فيه كبر على المشركين ما تدعوهم إليه الله يجتب إليه من يشاء ويهدي إليه من ينيب your Lord prescribed for you, O people, the same religion which He prescribed for Nuh and which He revealed to Muhammad وسلم, and which He prescribed for Ibrahim and Musa and Isa that you should establish the religion acting upon what is prescribed and not split into sects with regard to it. It is intolerable to the polytheists that you call them to sincerely worship Allah alone and reject worship of all else besides Him. But Allah chooses for his religion whomever he pleases and he guides those who turn to him in repentance and obedience to act in obedience to him and to follow the guidance with which he sent his messenger. Okay, this was the call of all the prophets and at the head of them the messengers who were firmest in determination. So the prophets who numbered 124,000 followed a single methodology in their call and began from single starting point single most important principle which they conveyed to all mankind throughout the ages and despite their varying societies lands and times this is a proof that this is the single way which must be followed in calling to Allah in calling the people to Allah and is something laid down by Allah to be followed by all of his prophets and the true and sincere followers it is not permissible to change or replace nor to turn away from it okay so this is the end and in the next uh, session the next video I'll we will study examples from the calls of some of the messengers I will also read this as shown in the hadith of Abu Dhar reported by Bukhari in al tarikh al Kabir and Ahmed in Al Musnad by way of Masoodi from Abu Umar Al Dimishki. This is basically the whole chain uh, of narration of the hadith. Tayyib. That's it for this session. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah, ilaha illa and astaghfirullah. Assalamu alaikum.